three techniques that I learned from the shop assistant in Venice and two of them I haven't found anywhere else. So I was researching them and there doesn't exist any video, any description. So I will show them you from my memory and they are really interesting. Hello my dear viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Malena and today we are going to unbox a Fendi Wrappy and I will show you three ways on how to wrap your silk wrappy or silk twilly around the handle of your Fendi peekaboo or any other handbag. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I will be happy when you subscribe. We will start by unboxing. So I've been in Venice, Italy and um, Fendi, my favorite Italian brand, was there. I got a little memory of Venice and that's a Fendi Rappi, a silk scarf for the handbag. I must say this is the first accessory for my Fendi Peekaboo, for my favorite, favorite handbag, this one. Uh, if you haven't seen the review, I've made a review of it that was one of my first videos. I will link it down below so that you can watch that. My favorite girl here got an accessory, her first dress and that's the Fendi Rappi. Let's unbox it. I will show you which one I picked because there are many of course. It comes of course like always very nicely packed and here we are going to reveal it. So you see it is a pink one and pink is my favorite color and what I wanted for my Fendi is something more playful because you know there are many different kinds of designs with those silk wrappies. I also saw a very very nice classic one but what I wanted to achieve is to make the look of my very already very elegant and classy by itself peekaboo a little bit more playful, add a little bit color to it and as pink is one of my favorite color, I would say it is my favorite color, um, I thought that a pink wrappy will go very nicely with this nude color, with this dove color of the Fendi peekaboo and also it will go very well with lots of my accessories and clothing pieces. So that's why I picked the pink playful one. And it's also very nice for summer, of course. So this twilly is 100% silk. And you see that it contains two different shades of pink. There is a light base and there is a kind of dusty pink also, rosewood. So that was very nice because they also have a more aggressive pink toned twillies but uh, I wanted a rather soft pink and uh, this really goes well with lots of clothing and accessory pieces. On the back side it's just plain pink and also you see the Fendi F. The twillies come in all kinds of colors. So the good thing is that with a twilly you can really harmonize your look when you for example are wearing accessories like shoes or a coat that doesn't really 100% match your handbag. You can add silk wrappy like this with a particular color in order to make all the accessories more harmonious. For example when black is missing you could get a dark wrappy and then the handbag with the dark black wrappy will go well with your, for example, dark shoes or it will all become more harmonious. So that's the first thing. And the second thing, you can change the appearance or the vibe of your Fendi Peekaboo. As the Fendi Peekaboo is very, very classy and classic, you can make it more playful by choosing a wrappy like this or you can make it even more classy by choosing a very classic wrappy. So it's really versatile and I think it's a really nice accessory, of course not only for the Fendi Peekaboo, but in general for handbags with the handles. 
So I will show you three techniques that I learned from the shop assistant in Venice and two of them I haven't found anywhere else. So I was researching them and there doesn't exist any video, any description. So I will show them you from my memory and they are really interesting. They are very nice alternatives to the classic wrap technique. In the end you can choose, even use this in order to have even more variations. But the first thing that you should always do, Fendi Rappi or Rappis in general, they have of course a tag like this one. And this has to be cut off because it will not look nice and you see how big it is. And those tags and also the tag with brand, they are, all, they are fixed with very very thin threads. And in order to cut them, you should use a very, very thin, delicate scissors, maybe like a nail scissors, and be very, very cautious so that you don't cut the silk. And then in the end, you will see nothing. So it was here and you see absolutely no residue. And then we will start with the first technique. Anyways, let's start. So we have the silk wrappy and we try to put it in half like this so that we know more or less where to, to start. So I have the Fendi Picamo medium and with the medium I will show you how much I will left out. So even with the classic techniques there are different ways of wrapping the ends. I will now show you the most common one and the most common one is to make a knot. So I will make a knot and leave almost yeah, this length or this amount outside, like this. See? So I just made a knot, a knot and then I will start wrapping it around. And of course you can choose the side, but here I will use the main side, the one that is more colorful. Just wrap it around tightly in this way. Of course, depending on how long the handle is, if you have a peekaboo mini, you will have to wrap it in a more narrow way so that you don't have too much residue. But I just wrap it kind of normally. And when you come towards the end, you will already see how much how much is left so you can then variate a little bit so that there is not too much of the material left when you make the knot. So I now arrived to the end and I will now make another knot here by pushing this part through, through the last and then it looks like this and you see it's basically the same length so that was yet I was lucky <laughs> like this so you see we have we have a beautifully classically wrapped handle a beautiful Fendi peekaboo and what you can also do there are variations in which you hide this part this will also allow you to have more variation here. So if this part is longer and this part is not visible, it doesn't matter. If you want to have it symmetrical, you have to pay attention so that uh, both ends are similar. When you want to hide one side of the, of the end, I will show you how. So first we have to unwrap it again. Then what you will do is you put the end of the wrappy through the hardware here. And then you put it up like this. You see? And then you wrap the wrappy around it. Like this. This way the end will disappear. You will have a neutral end. It also, look, also looks nice. And then you can just have um, a variation 
of the wrappy. So you see this looks more clean. It looks a little bit less playful depending on what kind of look you want to achieve with your Fendi. And in the end I would suggest that you do the knot in the end. It can be a little bit longer and this way your Fendi will have a different look. But this is also still the classic technique. And you already see how much you can do. You could even when you have um, a small Fendi, you can even make a bow if you have enough of the repi. But now I will show you the second technique. Now let's proceed with the second technique. So in the second technique, the repi is put in half like this. Okay, so for this it is easier to put the hand back like that because we will now cross it. So you put it in half like this and then we cross it. You can, it doesn't have to be accurate this way because um, it's a different technique so it doesn't have to be so smooth it can mix a little bit the two sides can mix and we just make a cross wrap also this way the handle won't be uh, wrapped completely do you will still see a little bit of the original color peeking through but that doesn't matter i think it's also a very nice look and when you arrive to the end, you can just make a knot and or even a bow, but I think that's not enough with the Fendi medium because there's not enough material left and your Fendi looks like this. So what do you think about that? Have you seen this technique? Because I haven't. I was really surprised when the shop assistant showed me this. It's a rather unusual wrapping technique, but I think it looks really nice. It looks different and um, also it looks very playful. It's just a very, very nice, different variation. And now I will show you the third variation, which is it's also very nice variations. So basically we start like with the other one, with the first one. That's why I already prepared it like this. And then when we arrive in the middle, we just switch the side. We make, we turn it to the other side so that the back side of the wrapie appears. And this way you will have uh, another variation and you can use both sides of the wrapie. And that especially is a nice variation when you have two colors that you want to pop out a little bit more. For example, if you want the color on the back side or the, the design on the back side be more visible, you can just use this technique and switch in the middle. And of course, in the end, we will do the knot. But this time you will have the other side out. And we have another variation. So this is the third variation. And this is, I must say, something that I haven't seen before either, like the second one. Tell me what you think about this one. I personally prefer the second one and the first one. But everyone has a different taste and I think every variation is nice. And worth trying and this way you can use one repi in very very different way my dear viewers thank you very much for watching this video please tell me in the comments which rep technique is your favorite or maybe you have another one I know that there exist more variations but rather with regard to the ending pieces so you can make a bow in the end or you can just use the repi for making a bow but those three techniques are the ones that have been shown to me by Fendi itself 
and uh, I think they are very versatile and very interesting. If you liked this video, if it was helpful and useful for you, I would be very, very thankful if you give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing because there are more videos to come. And in the next video, you can watch my review of the Fendi Peekaboo Medium. So see you there. Bye bye.